This is the story of the Berlin Boxing Club by Robert Chernow. The story's main protagonist is named Carl Stern. Carl has never considered himself to be a Jew, but he does have ties to a Jewish family. Unfortunately for him, he is growing up in Nazi Germany, and the start of the story is, in, is 1935, when Carl is 14. We first meet him as he is walking out of his school on the last day of school. He is confronted by a group of bullies called the Wolf Pack and threatened and beaten. This is all because he is Jewish. Later on in the story, we are introduced to his father and the rest of his family. His father owns an art gallery, which used to be very successful, however, with Hitler's ban on many forms of art, it has become much less successful. The night we are at the gallery, we meet Max Schmeling. Max Schmeling is a real-life German boxer who won the World Championship in Nazi Germany times. Schmeling comes to the Stones Art Gallery to purchase a painting of himself. This is when he meets Carl. He can tell that Carl has been beaten at school, so he offers, in exchange for the painting, to give Carl boxing lessons. Carl gladly accepts, and Schmeling introduces the first stage of training. This is called the 300. The 300 consists of many different exercises. When the amount of ex exercises you do are put together, it adds up to 300. These exercises include running, push-ups, sit-ups, and pull-ups. After Carl gets proficient with the 300, he meets a girl named Greta. Greta lives in his apartment building, and Carl has a massive crush on her. Apparently she does too, because one day she, she decides to kiss him. After much dedicated training, Carl is finally ready for his first match. While he starts off nervous and messes up in the beginning, he easily wins later on. This starts off his youth boxing career. One night, we can see that Carl's mom and dad are getting in a very severe argument over leaving the country. This is because of Carl's uncle. Carl's uncle is part of a group that is against the Nazi party, and he has been able to avoid danger for a while, but now he has been imprisoned and sent to a concentration camp. Things are getting a lot harder for the, for the Stones and the Jewish population all around Germany. When Carl returns back to school, he notices there have been many changes since he's left. Firstly, all of the faculty at the school that are not Nazi supporters have been fired. Secondly, there are some new laws in place called the Nuremberg Laws. These laws prohibit Jews from having intercourse with aliens, as well as prohibiting all Jews to visit alien schools. This means Carl is expelled. Later on, it is Greta's birthday. To surprise her, Carl makes her a present, a handmade card and a charm. When he goes to deliver the present at their usual meeting spot, however, he finds she's not there. He later finds that the landlord is attempting to attack her and threaten to expose her and Carl's relationship. Carl defends her from him, but, in, but the result of this is that he and his family get thrown out of their apartment building and are forced to move in to their father's art gallery. Stone's condition has escalated so badly that they've had to move out of their apartment and into their art gallery. This is not an ideal situation, but the Stones do somehow manage to make the best of it. From this point on, their story only gets worse. Stay tuned to our blogs and read the book for more.